Hey guys, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. It's Monday. I'm home from Minnesota in the kitchen and ready for dinner. Guys, as you're jumping on, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight. We're making an easy, delicious dinner, guys. It is a, a garlic butter gravy. So, I can't remember what I called it. Garlic. I can't remember what I called it. It is a garlic butter pork chop that is absolutely so easy and delicious. Guys, what we're doing so far is we've got a skillet of butter. I used four tablespoons of butter right here in my skillet. We're fixing to mince us up some garlic to put with it. If you want to use garlic powder, hold off on the garlic. You can do it later. But you really want this to taste super yummy. So I'm going to do just a few cloves of garlic. We're going to put that right into this piping hot butter. We're going to saute the garlic for a minute or less. We don't want to burn the butter. Guys, I hope you've had a great day. Y'all know Mondays are my favorite day of the week. I have had a great one. It was nice to get back to work. Nice to be home with the kids and the hubby and my mom. So always a great day. So this delicious dinner is so easy, guys. We're going to do four tablespoons of butter and we're going to mince or saute this garlic just a second. And you're going to see how fast and simple this is. Over here to the side while we're waiting on this garlic to cook, I've got some pork chops. And you can also do this with chicken, uh, but I love pork. Y'all know I love pork. Uh, I posted my grocery haul this evening because I didn't go to the grocery store yesterday. By the time I got home, I was just ready to get home and play with the puppies and see Ricky. So I didn't get out to the store. So we've got our pork chops here in a separate plate. Let me pork. And these pork chops are fixing to be sauteed in this, uh, this garlic butter. So we seasoned the pork chops with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. That's it. We're just going to saute these pork chops. Ooh, and they look so yummy. Ooh, they look yummy. We're going to saute the pork just for a few minutes on each side. You really want the pork to be done. You don't want to remove it from the heat until they are done. And what we're going to do is take these pork chops right off the eye. We're going to put them over into a, a separate plate just so we can make our gravy. Guys, one, two, three ingredients. That's it for the gravy. It's so yummy. So, guys, where are you watching from? Hey, Julie. I see Kimberly on there and Vicki. I hope you guys... Had a great weekend. We had so much fun in Minnesota. <laughs> I know I posted a picture and said Minnesnot because my voice did not type out all of Minnesota. <laughs> I'm country and sometimes the uh, voice recorders just don't know what I'm saying. But we had such a great time. We played in the snow for a little bit. We got to ride roller coasters at the Mall of America. We got to have a lot of great conversation just to build relationships with friends that are new to me and my family. So we just had a great time. We got some work done. Guys, I have been working on my recipe blog and it is live now. It's not fully finished. I still got some work to do, but it is live with a few recipes for you guys, but I can't wait to build on it more. Let me set a timer for five minutes. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting <laughs> So we'll flip these pork chops in five minutes. Let me show you my side dish, guys. Again, super easy and so delicious. Let me give me a little hot hands here. What are y'all barking at? Your daddy's not even here. Your daddy is not even here. What are you barking for? Oh my gosh, this smells so yummy. So a lot of people do not like the smell of broccoli in the home, right? Because it does have like a little poop smell. But it tastes so yummy. And guys, this is the easiest way to cook broccoli. I mean, I love my broccoli cheese casserole. But you can roast broccoli so fast and easy. All I did was take some fresh, clean broccoli, put it on a baking dish, heavily drizzled with avocado oil, salt and pepper. We're gonna put it in the oven on 350 and just cook it until it's soft. My husband likes it a little crisp, so we like to cook it until it turns a little brown, but you don't have to cook it that long. You can just cook it until your fork goes in and you've got some delicious roasted broccoli as a side dish. Super easy, super simple. And when you're trying to get on track and you're trying to really jumpstart your 2023, you don't wanna have a whole lot of extra fat. So with keto, you know, we, we do keto several different ways. There's keto carnivore, there's lazy keto, there's strict keto. Like there's so many variations of keto. I like to keep it always simple, but the way I like to keep it simple is by counting carbs only, which makes me lazy keto. I hate that term. I'd rather say simple keto. So instead of lazy keto, I'm simple keto. And what that means is I just pay attention to carbs only. I don't worry about macros, trying to count out all your fat all your proteins, like that is a lot of work. It's a lot of work and a lot of dedication. And for me personally, I thought when I first got started that this is just not gonna last me. And I really was looking for something to change my life. So I transitioned over to simple keto where I only count carbs 
And I keep my dinner simple. So low carb uh, veggies cooked in healthy fats with a good protein. And when I say fats, we're talking about fats. Like we need healthy fats for keto, but you don't have to eat bukus and bo like boatloads of fat. So many people are stuck on, well, keto is high fat. So they'll eat fat all day long. Like they'll put butter in everything they eat. But really all we need is those healthy fats to make our food taste delicious. So I'm using avocado oil tonight. We got butter over here in our gravy. And we put this back in the oven and we'll keep on talking. <clears throat> so let me know what you guys are doing for dinner tonight. We love to share recipe ideas, right? Because if you're always cooking bunless burgers, you're going to get really tired of that. But on my page, if you guys will share what you're doing, a lot of people will think, oh my gosh, well, I haven't done that in a long, long time. And it's not that they don't like it. They just don't think about it very often. So this is a lemon garlic pork chop. Guys, it's so yummy. We've got our pork chops sauteing right now in some garlic butter. So what I did is took four tablespoons of butter. I melted that and then sauteed garlic. I used minced garlic. I used, um, I don't know, I didn't count it, but I didn't use a whole, whole lot. But I used uh, garlic. Now you can add some garlic powder at the end of this if you want to make it even more garlicky. But it is a lemon garlic pork chop, okay? <laughs> so I sauteed the garlic in the butter. And then we seasoned pork chops. So I've got pork chops for me and Haley, my man Ricky. And I seasoned them with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. That's it. So salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Guys, this recipe will be in this post when we finish the live. And I'm going to be adding it to my blog. So excited about that. And we're just going to saute these for about five minutes on each side. We want to cook the pork all the way through. These are semi-thin pork chops. If I need to cook them longer, we will. And then we're going to move on to the gravy, which is so simple. So, guys, as you're watching, let me know where you're watching from and what you're doing for dinner tonight. We actually started the I Fast with Ketone System, so our I Fast Accelerator. We just started that today. It is the prototype phase that we're all testing out together as a community with Prove It, and I've got a lot of friends who are doing it with me. Super excited. I feel amazing, but we're basically assisting people in learning how to fast and then amplifying our fasting results because a lot of times you hear people say that they, they don't feel hungry but they don't feel satisfied or they have issues with their hair or their skin. And a lot of times there's nothing wrong with the way we're eating. Nothing wrong with the way we're eating. You eat when you're hungry, not just because it's meal time. Like eat when you're hungry. But we still have to have good sources of protein to be healthy. So this iFast system that we're just launching and doing the prototype together is really just to help amplify fasting results, amplify your health and healthy proteins that you can intake because most of us honestly eat one meal a day. Once you become keto, you just don't crave foods like you used to. You're busy. You don't think about foods like you used to. And there's many days I'm at work just busy, 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 working away, and I realize, oh my God, it's 3 o'clock and I haven't even eaten yet. Well, then I'm not even hungry, so I'm waiting until dinner. So that's one meal a day. Nothing wrong with eating when you're hungry, but we still have to make sure we get good protein sources. And just too many times we don't think about what we're eating. We just come home and eat something really fast. I know a lot of you uh, send me messages and you're like, I'm really not hungry. I think I'll have one of those um, tortilla pizzas, which are excellent. But how much protein source are you getting in that? So we just want to make sure that we're fasting as healthy as we possibly can. All right, I'm flipping my pork chops. We're going to cook for another five minutes. And this system is just an awesome system to help us do that. So I'm going to be talking about it throughout the week just to let you guys know how I'm doing. I'm hoping friends are going to send me messages, let me know how they're doing. So I can kind of just give you an update in case you're interested in that I fast system. So if you want information on it, you can get it now. You don't have to wait. Um, if you want it now, you can get it. Just send me a message or put I fast, I fast, I fast in the comments and I'll send you some information. But I feel really, really good today. So let me see real quick what you guys got going on. We're just waiting on these pork chops and then we're going to start the gravy. But look, this is a live video. So it's not edited. This is me in my kitchen here to help you answer any questions you have about low carb or keto. So put your questions in the comments. It's live letting you know how fast you can come home after work, even though you're tired, because we all are, right? We're all busy women and men. I've got a lot of fathers on here and we're busy. You know, we come home and it's easy to make excuses to just sit down. And as soon as you sit down, as soon as I sit down, it's over, right? But it's easy to make those excuses, but you can come home, start cooking. I hadn't even changed clothes. Be done in 30 minutes or less. And this video is not going to be 30 minutes, but you can be done with almost every single meal you cook from my page within 30 minutes or less. And that includes cleaning. So like we get in here, we get it done, we eat, enjoy it, and then we clean, and then we rest the rest of the night. 
So don't sit down when you get home. Let's move. Let's keep going. Let's get our intentions set for the night um, so we can be successful. Let's see. I would throw some garlic in with the baked broccoli. Oh, yes, Roxanne, that's really good, too. You can also put some garlic powder on there, but, yeah, that sounds good. Um, let's see. Broccoli looks yummy. I uh, don't know about dinner yet. Carol, don't know what she's doing for dinner yet. Ricky. Uh, good evening, Francis. West Virginia. Debbie did the 24-hour fast today. I'm feeling hungry all day. Oh, no, Debbie. That would drive me crazy. Oh, this is your part. Is this your first time doing a 24 hour fast? I'm curious. Hey, Cindy. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad you're loving the page. And if I can ever help you with anything, just reach out and let me know. Hey, new. Oh, she's making that uh, lasagna keto ladies recipe. Yum. I don't know if I've seen her lasagna recipe. Show me the timer. The timer has I actually had thought about making lasagna myself this week, so I'm glad we didn't make a lasagna the same week. <laughs> um, I love Minnesota, but I'll be very honest, we really went for a purpose, and we didn't get out a whole lot. So it was beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Um, but we didn't get out to explore a whole lot. We really stayed close to the house. Um, and we did go to the mall because it was inside. <laughs> Let's see, Janet says she made chicken stir fry. More, a few more carbs than I expected, but it was what it, but it is what it is. More water to flush it. <laughs> so yes, uh, Cal, I don't know if you're talking about the veggies in your stir fry, Janet, or the seasonings that you used. Uh, veggies do have carbs, so even though you're eating a low carb veggie, it makes a difference on whether or not you're eating three cups of it versus a cup. So always pay attention to the carb counts you have because. Even though it's a low-carb veggie, you still can't eat a whole bucket full of it. Uh, so I'm glad you brought that up, Kathy. I, know, I mean, not Kathy, Janet. I know that's not what you did, but it's a good explanation for me to kind of go over serving sizes. Guys, any questions you have, put them in the comments. Kathy is also doing lasagna. She's doing the egg life noodles, it looks like. That sounds delicious. Well, I'm definitely going to have to cook my lasagna again for you guys because it's been a little while since we've cooked it, and I love my lasagna. <laughs> All right, we're just almost done with these pork chops. 59 uh, seconds left. I can't tell for sure if they're done. I might have to flip it uh, just a one more minute on each side before I take it out. We want to make sure it's cooked all the way through or I can get my pork my pork uh, meat tender, uh, temperature if I need to. But I'm just going to do one more minute on each side before we take it off. We always can heat it back up in the gravy if it needs to be cooked a little longer. I don't like to overcook my pork. Set a timer for one minute. So as we're waiting on these two minutes, guys, if you have any questions, put them in the comments for me. Um, back on track at the beginning of 23. Last year wasn't the best. First week down six pounds. Way to go, Janet. All right. And I haven't talked to you in a little while, Janet. Uh, Rhonda, I made your roasted vegetables and the pork loin. Yum. Did your pizza. All the cheese crust. All cheese crust. I'm sorry. That's awesome, Cindy. I love that you put your grocery haul. Thank you, Stephanie. It takes a little time, but that's okay. I like to do that. Show me the timer. The timer has about 21 um, seconds left. Did Keto Dad cook for y'all the whole time? He is so fun to watch. He is so fun, Amanda. He is so fun. Seriously, you don't even know until you're like friends with him. <laughs> he is just so fun, and I'm so thankful he's fun because I like to have fun too. So we rode the roller coasters together and just had a great time. We were like big kids, but he cooked one night. Uh, the keto lady cooked for us one night, and Christina, our friend Christina Martinez Williams, she does keto in Espanol uh, for people all around the world. She is amazing. She cooked for us one night, so we had uh, the keto lady's sausage soup, and it was delicious. We had Christina's butter chicken, and it was like a Thai-inspired dish, and it was delicious. Then we went out to eat. And then Nick fixed us um, Italian meatballs. Now, I wasn't there the night that Nick uh, cooked. He cooked the last night. I had to come back to work. Um, but anyway, I know his meatballs are delicious. I've had them before. Um, can you tell us about your blog with the recipes? When will it be up? It actually is live now, Kim, but there's not lots on it. So there is some really good stuff on there, things I cook a lot. But we'll be adding to it and adding to it and adding to it. So I'm super excited about it. 
but it is live now. If you'll go to, uh, just go to Google and put amyketoqueen.com, amyketoqueen.com. You'll get to the blog, and I've got uh, recipes on there. I've got like a little bit short story on there, not a whole lot. And then I've got some trial pack information on there. Uh, so it's amyketoqueen.com, amyketoqueen.com. All right, I can't remember if I put this on. All right, these are looking delicious. Let me pull them off real fast. We'll pull the pork chops off, and we're going to make this gravy, guys, fast and easy. We're almost done with this video, and you're going to be so Happy. Hang on one second. Hang on just one second, guys. I apologize. Somebody was calling me. I had to answer that. All right, we're going to pull these pork chops off, and we're fixing to make this gravy. And, guys, it is so fast and easy. So right off the hot eye, we're going to put this either back in the gravy, or you can serve this on a plate and pour the gravy on top, which is what me and Ricky usually do. Again, we season the pork chops with salt, pepper, and Italian seasoning. Oh my gosh, it, it smells delicious. Now we're gonna use everything that's in this skillet. We're not taking any of it away. We've got the garlic and the butter and the drippings from the pork chop. And we're gonna add just a couple of things. First, I've got a half a cup of chicken broth. Half a cup of chicken broth right into that hot skillet. We're gonna do a half a cup of heavy cream right into the hot skillet. And then we're gonna take an, a half of a lemon. So we're gonna cut up a fresh lemon and we're going to squeeze the lemon in here too. Now you can use the whole lemon if you want to, or half the lemon. I personally love the lemon. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit more than a half. Um, oh, already got it out. Already got my lemon squeezer. I love to squeeze fresh lemon. Now I'm looking for my knife, here it is. Um, got broccoli on it. All right, I'm going to take this lemon and squeeze it right into this gravy. And guys, we're just going to simmer this. You can simmer it on high heat to get it going and then just lower it. We know heavy cream thickens as it cooks. So we're just going to simmer this until it thickens up the way we like it. And then we're going to season it with salt and pepper. Guys, that's it. <laughs> if you want to at this point, you could add a little garlic powder, but I wouldn't until you taste it. Uh, let's let it simmer, add some salt and pepper for seasoning, and then if we want to, we can add a little bit of garlic powder too. It is a garlic lemon pork chop, and y'all, it is just delicious. So right now it looks like water. <laughs> it looks like a buttery water, uh, but as it cooks down or as it heats up and starts to thicken, it doesn't get super, super thick, but it definitely is not going to be water. So we'll wait just a second, get it hot. So you can see it uh, uh, simmering. But I'm not going to stay on here long because I'm going to go ahead and clean my mess up while we're waiting on the gravy to thicken. I, I always post the finished plate at the end. So when I finish and I sit down and eat dinner, you guys will see the plated, completed dinner. I also post it for that purpose to show you the plate because these are live videos. But then also to give you an opportunity to get that recipe again. So I'm fixing to finish this video up. And when I hit, when I hit stop, you're going to see the recipe up there so you don't have to try to... Um, Remember all this. Is the lemon for taste? Yes, it is. It's just for taste. And it's so yummy. Um, hey, Gloria from Indiana. All right, guys. If I can help you with anything, send me a message. We're going to let this simmer just a couple of minutes so you can see it start to thicken up. Let's check out our broccoli, though. Let's check out that broccoli. Ooh, man, it smells good. I love the smell of broccoli. Now, look at this. You can tell already that it's softening up, but you can see the brown around the edges. So we like ours a little browned. You don't have to do that. I bet you if I put a fork in it, it's gonna, it's gonna stick right through, but I'm gonna let it keep on cooking because I really want it to be brown. All right, guys, going back in. Now I've got this up really, really high, <clears throat> really, really high just to get it going. We can turn it down to a lower simmer if we want to, but I'm just gonna keep it up for a little. Uh, we didn't salt and pepper it yet, but this is it. You just let that heavy cream cook, and the longer it cooks, it thickens. Now, this is still very watery, way too watery, but I hope you can tell the difference already. Like, I can tell the difference already. It's starting to, um, to thicken up. So, the longer you simmer, the thicker it gets. If you need a keto-friendly thickener, you can use Xanthan gum, uh, something similar to that. You can Google keto-friendly thickeners, but I rarely ever use them because the heavy cream in itself is going to make it thicken. So you see it's thickening up as we're talking. All right, we're going to keep on letting that boil. I'm going to put some salt and pepper to it. And that's it. So I think I'm going to start cleaning up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. If I can help you with anything, make sure you send me a message. Uh, the, the recipe will be in this post, and I will be 
really, really working hard on that blog so I can just share it with everybody. It is live. So if you want some recipes that I have in there already, you can just Google amyketoqueen.com and it should come up. Send me a message if you have any issues. Uh, but I'm super excited for you guys to check it out. Just getting started with it, so don't, don't articulate too much. But if you like it, you can tell me. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm going to jump off and I will see all of you guys later. Have a good night. Bye.